Hey guys, what's going on? 7-6 here. We are in Nav's Gain, and this is not a Let's Play, so I've had some, some people that I know start to play the game, and they were struggling with it. So I figured I would come on and I would do a tutorial. So this is gonna be seven days of tips to help you be more epic playing seven days. That's right. You're gonna go from knowing nothing to being awesome. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna notice on the right hand side, there is a, uh, there's a quest. It says, gather plant fibers, craft a bedroll. So the first thing you want to do when you get into seven days to die is you want to finish all the quests. Do all the quests. Just, just do it. So that's going to start out by making us gather plant fibers. So we're going to do this and we're going to do what it says. We're going to make a bedroll. Okay, plant fibers are gathered. Hit your tab key. That's going to bring up this inventory. And you can see bedroll right there. This is your crafting menu right here. Um, you can craft all kinds of different things, ammo, weapons. If you mouse over these, you can see what you can craft. If it's dark gray, you can not make it. If it's white, that means you can make it. So we're gonna click on bedroll. We're gonna click craft. 20 seconds, that'll be up. So when that's done, you can hear a little sound, kind of like a, it sounds like a gunshot, it's kind of weird. So what I did is, so the bedroll's in my inventory. I held down the shift key, left click, bam, goes right into my inventory or my hotbar. Left click rotates items. So it's a little strange, it takes a little bit to get used to, but left click rotates, right click, bam, places it down. So we did our first part of the quest. Let's pick that up. And we're going to, and we're gonna move that into our inventory. So shift, left click, bam, goes right back in the inventory. Okay, so it says gather plant fibers, gather wood, gather small stone. So I'm gonna do the quest real quick and I'll be back when that's done. These right here are easy little trees to get wood. You'll see these a lot in the burnt biome, in the forest biome, you will see these things. So just smack these things, gives you some wood, okay. Again, hit the tab key, go to your, uh, where does this be? That'll be in tools and traps. Stone axe, craft. Okay, our axe is crafted. Let's put this down here. Water's gonna go in the end. This and this, I don't need in my hot bar. Don't really need that. This is gonna go on five. Okay, we're on our way. So I'm gonna do these quests as I go. And you can look up a map of Navsgain. This is very important. Look up a map of Navsgain so you know where you're at. And we're gonna head north because I wanna get out of this burnt biome. I do not wanna be here. So day one, that's what we're gonna do. So the first tip for seven days to die is to finish your quests. Just do it. I'm gonna pause this real quick just so I'm not losing time while I talk. Do your quests. That's the main thing you want to do is finish the quests. So that being said, I'm going to finish those quests on my way north. So I got all my plant fibers I need. We're going to we're going to make all these things: pants, shirt, hood, shoes, gloves. So I can click on this and I can just hit W. So gloves, hood, pants, shirt, and we have to wait because I only have four slots. W, we're gonna hit shoes and that should make everything we need. Now, after it makes it, it's gonna tell me to put it on. So I'm gonna click that, W wears it, bam, wear. So we're on our way, W. Shoes and shirt should be last. So there's the shirt, there's the shoes. And if you click on this up top, it'll show you your character. Ooh, look at that guy, he's real buff. So again, click this, hit W, click that, hit W. So the next part is to make a wooden club. Tab, go into our weapons, wooden club, craft. 
Okay, so this is going to go on our hot bar. Your hot bar is very important. You should just do it the same way every time. In fact, the axe is going to go on three. Now we need to make a bow and we need to get arrows. So we're going to pull this up. Wooden bows right there, right above the wooden club. We're going to craft the bow, which takes plant fibers. And it takes some wood. There we go. Wooden bow. Bam. So I actually move that around a little bit because I want my ranged weapon to be on one. Sorry, just I've got another playthrough going. So, so number one will be bow. We'll have a wooden club there. We'll do axe. Then we can put like we can get a stone axe and then we can get a pick later on. Five. Always, just always put your bandages in the same spot. All right, we got a bow. We need arrows. So we're gonna find these little things right here, bird's nests. So. Tip number two, if you see a bird's nest, gather the stuff that's in it. You hit E, it searches it, and you want these feathers. I've already done a little bit of that. And sometimes you get eggs, very important. Eggs are very important. So again, tab key, get the arrows. Now I hit this button on the side. If I do this, I can just craft one at a time. If I do this, it'll do all of them at once, as many as I can do. I only have enough stone for two, so we're gonna craft that. Stone, see, little stones, hit E, pick them up. That means I can make another arrow. Small stone, small stone. Pick up all the stones you can. Bird's nest, we're gonna gather that. Oh, so I have it there. If I'm in a hurry, see if I have a zombie breathing down my neck, oh, I wanna get this. So I hit E, I'll hit R, It'll automatically grab everything from that bird's nest. Okay, so we're making, we're doing good. We're doing good. So if we pull up our bow, you can see it's zero of two. Pull down the R button. This is your reload menu, so I can reload the ammo that's in the bow. I only have stone arrows now, but later on I'll be able to make iron and I'll be able to make steel. We're gonna click on that. Now we have arrows. Right click. If you click, if you right click real quick, it zooms it in. And then if I hold the left mouse button, I aim, and then I can fire the arrow. Now, right click again to bring it out. See, it makes your aim better if you right click. That's important. I'm gonna take that off because I don't wanna waste any more arrows. Again, grab the stones, grab all the birds as you can. Eggs are very important later on, okay. So we have to craft wood frames, place wood frames, and upgrade wood frames. So let's go over to this menu right here, building menu, wood frames. We want to make three, so I can go like this and I can make 11, but I don't want 11 right now. So we're gonna go over to three, craft. Okay, it'll make those real quick. Shift, left click, put it down there, and let's place them. Again, say so I can rotate them. I just want to place three. In order to upgrade, you grab your axe, stone axe, the beginning axe, and right click on this frame. Bam, 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 it upgrades it. It takes four wood. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. We upgraded those frames. All right, we're gonna grab some stones. Grab another stone. I'm going to look for stones right now because I know the next thing that we have to do is to create and place a campfire. There it is. Campfire. Okay. So, crafting menu. Campfire. Craft. Shift left click. Place. And now I can use this to cook food. Hey, we finished all our quests. Awesome. So, question complete, basic survival. I see that guy down there. I'm not gonna worry about him for right now. So the reason why you wanna do all your quests is because you want points. So finishing those quests gave us four points to spend. There are different trees here. There's perception, strength, fortitude, agility, and intellect. They all do different things. So we have four points to spend right off the bat. 
this is going to be a very important tree for you because of this, this little section right here, craftsmanship perks. Hammer and Forge allows you to make tools, grease monkey, bicycles, mini bikes, motorcycles, 4x4s. This is transportation. Engineering, you can build bows, more better weapons, shotgun turrets, auto turrets, science right here allows you to use blueprints. That's later on stuff, we'll get to that. He's still over there, good. Okay, so tip number one, do your quests. Just finish the quest. It might take you a little longer to do it than I did. We're at 12, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, but do your quests. Two, make sure you gather nests. Get those nests. Just you find them, grab them, pick them up. Real easy. Tip number three, as you're traveling, just gather wood and stone. You'll find little stones on the ground. You'll find easy places to find wood. And that is a vulture. Where are you? He's way up there. Those are a pain. Hopefully you won't see vultures right away. Keep an eye out for like any resources you can gather along the way, you'll find little nodes of things. So I just hit that little pile in the ground and it gave me a, a few things, but this bone, if I left click on it and I go to recipes, I can make a bone knife. I'm gonna craft that up. So I have a knife to chop up things with, very handy. Okay, so. You're in Nav's game, you just started out. We've got some basic tools and weapons. It's now 1335, which means it's one o'clock. At nighttime, the zombies go from just walking around real slowly and quietly to sprinting. That is not a good thing if you're if you're brand new playing the game. So you want to make sure that you find a place to stay. Now you can either find a really small building find a place to hole up for the night, or you can make something really quick. So combat, you have two types of swings. You have this swing, which is an overhand swing, and then you have a power attack, which is your right click. Right click, but it uses a lot of stamina. Just get a feel for the range that the zombies are. See, if I go close to this guy, he's gonna swing at me. I can just back up. He's going to get about here, and I can just back up. When he starts to swing, back up. Aim for the head or the body. Give him a couple knocks. He'll fall down. Power swing. Bam. He's done. You did it. You got your first zombie out of the way. Awesome. Okay, so like I said, I don't want to be in this burnt biome anymore. Let's go knock this other guy in the head. Actually... Let's try shooting him. Remember, right click brings those cursors in better. I was going to put it right on his head. Bam! Head shot. Nice. One shot, one kill. And then sometimes you can get your arrow back. Sweet. So we have seven arrows. Oh, there's another zombie right there. Leave him alone for now. All right, this is better. So remember, as you're going along, gather wood, gather stone. It's very important. You'll see these things around a lot. And if you get a stone axe, one whack usually takes it right down. Yep, he's over there. He's a little angry, but he's okay. So tip number four, make tools and weapons, which is usually done through the, um, through the tutorial make sure you have good tools and good weapons the best that you can make power attack knocks them right down there you go he's down another one down cotton you want to gather this too grab a couple cotton things and that's the chrysanthemums you want to grab those it makes a good drink later on all right let's go say hello to this guy right here Bonk, 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 and a power attack. 
you'll notice the XP at the bottom tells me that he's actually down. Okay, so it's getting kind of late. It's two o'clock. It's gonna get dark soon. If you see this right here, see this little burnt out building? Oh, there's not much left to it. Go up to it and loot everything you see. Full casings, man, well, it's not too bad. What you want is a cooking pot. That's useful later on, that is too. Will I find a gun in here? No gun. You want a cooking pot because cooking, uh, the cooking pot allows you to make better recipes. So that's important. I'm not gonna go in that building right there. Let's check this one out real quick. And remember, time's always ticking, so watch that clock. That's empty. Ooh, stove. We have good luck. Oh, we got a cooking grill. That'll help us to cook, too. That's good. Don't be afraid to just pick stuff up. You can always get rid of it later on. More feathers. It's always good. Oh, we got another contestant right here. Usually takes more than one shot to get him. And we could just finish him off with the club. There he goes. Good night. Okay, we survived. We're surviving. We're doing well. Now, at this point of the day, you probably want to think about having a place where you can stop. Again, pick up those stones, pick up the cotton plants, grab this. Grab this, grab this, because I can make bandages with the cotton and I can build with the wood. So tip number five, keep an eye out for iron. Now you probably won't see a whole lot of iron in a biome like this, you know, in the forest biome, which is what you want to head for too. So I was in the burnt biome, which pretty much runs through, Let's see if I can zoom out. So I hit M, brings up the map, and my mouse wheel zooms in and out. The burnt biome's in the middle, kind of runs like this. Then the forest biome, you know, does the same thing, kind of. It goes up and down. And then the winter is up top, and there's desert down below. And then there's like a, there's an irradi not an irradiated, but like a, a destroyed biome down there, which can get pretty nasty if you're not ready for it. So I would head to the forest. Um, at the beginning. You can look up maps for Nav's game. That's why we're playing on this, because it's really easy to find your way around if you have a good map. Oh, we got a couple guys here. Oh, we got three. See that third guy? One behind the tree. And this guy. Practice. Practice with the zombies. I can back up pretty easily, and he can't come get me. So, you know, it's okay if they're, if they're there. You know, don't don't freak out. And be careful with the power attacks, because that'll lose your stamina. Like, I'm down to 34 stamina right now. But these don't always take them out in one hit, so... It takes a few hits to take those out. It took a lot of hits to take him out. This big guy. Some zombies are tough. <laughs> wow! <sighs> Oh, ah, okay. That's uh, I think that's something they added. They probably buffed that a little bit in 17.3. So yeah, uh, we got another one over here. So practice with your practice with your melee skills. It's important. Use combinations of attacks. You know, use the light attack and then use the heavy attack. It's always good. Okay, I'm not gonna fight that other guy. We need to get going. Keep an eye out for iron. The reason why I say keep an eye out for iron is because of Iron Reinforced Club. So the Iron Reinforced Club takes 100 iron and 10 wood. We've got the wood, but we don't have the iron. Now I can do things like this. I don't have any cans on me, so I can click this. I can hit scrap and it'll turn this into raw iron. I don't want to do that because I want to keep that. So we're not going to do that. Grab the bird's nest, more eggs, it's always good. So right, upon, right about this time of day, it's about four o'clock, it's going to start getting dark soon. 
I want to keep an eye out for some place to stay. Now, what if you don't have a place to stay? What if you're like this? There's no houses that I can see. Nothing. Well, you can always build something. You can always build something. How much wood do we have? We have 63. So, we're going to gather some more wood. Oop. That I don't need some repairs. See, there's a bar on the bottom of it. See how my club's like halfway? And this one doesn't have that bar on the bottom. See there? So, click on this. And click on repair. And it'll take a wood, or some wood. And it'll repair it. There we go. All set. Or stone. It might have taken a stone. So the further along you get in that um, intellect tree, the better your crafting skill will be. Your your tools will last longer, and it'll be a lot better. So another tip is to keep an eye out for animals. And I can see one off in the distance right now. So we are going to go try and take that thing out because we need the meat. And that's what I made the bone knife for, is for taking the meat off of animals. So we're going to pull this up. We're going to crouch with the control key. We're going to sneak up on this thing. We're going to go like that. We're going to shoot for a headshot. So, left click, we'll grab all its meat, grab some leather, and some other stuff. There we go, nice, nice. So this right here is important. May not look like much now, but it is important. Okay, so it's starting to get late, and I think we need to start considering a place to stay for the night. So let's build right over here. This looks like a good spot. Okay, so we're going to go into our menu. We're going to make a bunch of wood frames. How many can we make? 60. Uh, let's make 40 for now. Craft those up. Let's get some more wood. So this game, when you hit 2200 hours, the zombies go from walk to sprint. So it's very important that you have a place to stay where you can hide and just, you know, chill out. Whether that be a house or whether that be a base, you want to make sure that you get a secure location. And it's really easy to secure a location, especially if you crouch and don't make a lot of noise your first night. Okay, we got three hours to go. All right, we gotta repair that again. And it took one stone to repair it. I don't like this zombie over here messing around, so we're gonna go say goodbye to her. Or him, whatever it is. See, I'm out of stamina and she hit me. So you gotta be careful with those power attacks. There we go. She's done. Grab your frames, put them in your inventory, and let's just make a really, what do you think, four by four? Oh. And you can just pick them up if you put them in the wrong spot. These are really good for building too, by the way. You can plan things out. You can decide where you want to put things. You can put them in the wrong spot. <laughs> You can pick them up again. There we go. So this is going to be our home for the night. So you jump and place. It's a lot like Minecraft. This is anyways. All 
Now this is very flimsy. This will not last. If a zombie comes up and whacks the thing, it'll fall down. So we're going to go down below. Upgrade. Make sure you give yourself enough time to do this. If you can't do all of them, at least do the corners. And let's make some ladders. Ladders do not have to go all the way down. In fact, it's better if they don't go all the way down. Because then the zombies can't do can't get up there. Jump up, then go up. Alright, let's finish upgrading this top floor. Oh, we need more wood. So if you need more wood, and you don't need these frames, scrap them. At least it'll give us enough wood to do a few more frames. I don't think we'll get all of these, but one more maybe? Nope, that's it. Okay, we're up in our little tower here. Nothing fancy, but at least it gets us up off the ground. So crouch, it'll reduce your visibility. And you can also, if you had more wood, you can make a box and stuff. So. So this will be your final tip for today. Tip number seven, look for a place for the first night. Uh, you just want to chill out somewhere and yeah, you want to basically hide <laughs> your first night because you really don't have the equipment to, to be out and about. So you got four points. Where do you want to spend them? So one place you want to put a point into is Master Chef. Basics of cooking, unlocks basics, basic recipes, teas, and coffee. Buy. Just get that. It'll allow you to cook things. You want to do that. Um, intellect tree is good. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff in this tree anyway, so that's good. Another thing that's probably good to get at the beginning is Healing Factor. Gain 1 HP every 30 seconds with natural healing. That's good. If if you're a seasoned player, you probably don't need that right away, but that's going to be good for people who haven't played a lot. You probably want to get this one right here, this perk. This perk. Reduce melee and tool stamina usage by 5%. So swinging weapons, mining stuff, it'll make it easier to mine and to swing. And I like to pick Lucky Looter. Adds 50 to loot bonus, looting is 10% faster, narrows down buried treasure location to 7 meters. It generally helps me find better stuff. There are a lot of perks here. You can go through them, you can read them all. Those are the ones that I like to pick right off the bat. Okay, it is almost nighttime. We have survived our first day. This is awesome. So, uh, next video we're going to go over what to do during day two. Now, if you just stay in your base, you don't do a lot of stuff, you know, if you're not like making things, if I light a fire, it'll make me more visible. I'll probably be okay, but I can forgo the fire for one night. Another thing you want to watch out for is if I go into this menu, which shows my character, and I go over here, shows my stats. Food and water are still way high, so I'm good. I'm good for right now, but you want to keep an eye on food and water. So stuff like this, this glass jar, I can fill it up. And if I had a cooking pot, I could boil the water and make it safe. Now this is going to be a staple right at the beginning, bacon and eggs. And it gets super dark at night, <laughs> as you can see. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you come back for day two of tips for seven days to die. Uh, make sure and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And hit that like button if you like what you've seen here. Again, this has been 7-6, hanging out with you, playing games. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Until then, be well and be excellent out there. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.